How's it going guys? It's me Simon. In this video I'm going to show you how to catch Milsery and evolve Milsery to the 9 different forms of alchemy. So let's begin. From Tuffield Pokemon Center head on up to Route 4. You see the different patches of grass here all split up. You'll find Milsery in one of these patches but it has to be a surprise encounter so look for those exclamation marks and if you're lucky you'll find a Milsery. To evolve Milsery into alchemy, Milsery must be holding a sweet. So to get these sweets you can head to Motorstoke, Hammerlock or even Winden and head to the Battle Cafe. In there challenge the owner to a daily battle and if you beat the owner and you're lucky enough you will get yourself a sweet. So the sweet will determine which colour Alchemy's eyes and the bows in its hair are. So have Milsery in your party and have Milsery hold a sweet and you're ready to evolve. So for Matcha Cream Alchemy, it needs to be nighttime and you need to spin the left analog stick clockwise until your character strikes the pose and then you'll get the Matcha Alchemy. For Lemon Cream Alchemy, it needs to be nighttime and you keep spinning your character until it starts spinning by itself but carry on spinning as well for the extra 10 seconds and you will get Lemon Cream Alchemy. For Salted Cream Alchemy, it needs to be nighttime, but you need to spin anti-clockwise until you strike your pose. And then you get Salted Cream Alchemy. For Mint Cream Alchemy, it needs to be nighttime, you've got to spin anti-clockwise, let it spin by itself, but you've got to carry on spinning the left analog stick for another extra 10 seconds and you get Mint Cream Alchemy. For Vanilla Cream Alchemy, it needs to be daytime and you just got to spin clockwise until your character strikes a pose. For Caramel Alchemy, it needs to be daytime and you need to spin your character until it spins by itself plus an extra 10 seconds and there you go, you'll get Caramel Alchemy. For Ruby Cream Alchemy, it needs to be daytime and you need to spin once anti-clockwise until your character strikes a pose. And there you go, you have Ruby Cream Alchemy. For Ruby Swirl Alchemy, it needs to be daytime and you need to spin your character until it spins by itself plus an extra 10 seconds and there you go, you get Ruby Swirl Alchemy. And for Rainbow Cream Alchemy, it needs to be between 7 and 8 o'clock and you need to spin for 30 seconds clockwise or anti-clockwise to get Ruby Cream Alchemy. So guys, consider subscribing for some more Pokemon Sword and Shield videos or check out some of my other videos to help support my channel. I'm Simon from LOG, Level 1 Gamer. Until next time, peace out.